Hello, this is Tony Heller from RealClimateScience.com. In 1911, the New York Times reported predictions from the chief chemist of the Department of Agriculture in Washington, D.C. He said, the wind will keep us warm. The great social and economic trio of the future is the windmill, the dynamo, and the storage battery. He said that wind power would save mankind from the global cooling which was encompassing the planet. Geologists have for many years admitted that the Earth is cooling, he says, though it's my personal belief that we still have a lease on life that may run into the billions of years. Coal and wood will disappear from the Earth. Coal already is dwindling alarmingly, and the most ambitious efforts of the foresters will not forestall the final obliteration of the forest. So 110 years ago, government experts said that wind power combined with storage batteries was going to save the planet from global cooling, and that we were going to run out of fossil fuels soon. Now let's fast forward to the year 2021 and take a look at what's going on in the United Kingdom. But in the meantime, I'm saying, remember we've got to get through the next four or five winters. Remember in the next four or five winters, most people are still going to be heating their homes by gas, even though the government wishes they weren't. You're still going to have glass and chemicals and ceramics and paper industries very dependent upon gas. We haven't got the technology and investment yet to strip all that out. And we're going to need the containers and, and the food wrapping and all the rest of it so that we can feed ourselves and we can make things at home. So I think what's been desperate about the policy of the first 20 years of this century under three different types of government is that it has allowed us to become more and more import dependent. And I don't see how that is green, because what we're ending up doing is buying things from Germany and China that burn far more coal as a proportion than we do in order to make the things. And we've said, well, we mustn't make them here because it isn't very green to make them. It doesn't make any sense. So 110 years after this New York Times forecast was made, Britain is still dependent on fossil fuels and they're still four or five years away from wind power. In any century now, they'll come up with their magical storage battery which will take care of the times when the wind isn't blowing. We're headed into a La Nina winter similar to the one which occurred in 2010 when wind farms produced practically no electricity during Britain's cold snap. And then in 2018, during a heat wave, Britain went for nine days without wind power, and forecasters saw wind output staying low for at least two more weeks. On Valentine's Day this year, lots of people froze to death in Texas when their wind turbines iced up. For the past 110 years, we've had our leading academics on top of this problem, and we're just five years away from a solution now. Toto thinks our governments are willing to freeze us to death in order to pretend they're doing something to stop an imaginary global warming problem. You can visit Toto, Kyrie, and Caesar on the web at realclimatescience.com.